bringers of the word to people. He is now assigned in San Juan Father, no? Ay, wala na. Hindi ka na. He is uh, a Jesuit and he is now teaching at, in Ateneo de Manila. But he, sometimes I wonder whether he has a gift of bilocation. Because <laughs> at one time he is here, at another time he is there, he is everywhere. So um, let us welcome Father Albert Alejo for his uh, lecture. We have exchanged uh, schedules, Father because uh, I think the communication that was given to you was uh, today, you know? Yes. So, uh, <laughs> so I think some of you were present when he gave also his lecture in Santa Catalina, right? Yes. yes. And when he That's gave his lecture in Davao, right? Yes. Yes. And everywhere else. Now here at the Pisa <laughs> and here now at the La Salle University. But I can assure you, he does not repeat himself because there's a lot of ideas to share with us. So welcome, Father Albert. <laughs> Ah, our participants <laughs> come from all over the Philippines. Father would like to know the uh, uh, the composition of our group. So those from the Diocese of uh, Northern Luzon, raise your hand, please. Yes. po tayo to yung homilies natin kanina from the Diocese of Bontoc, Lagawe. Sent by um, the youngest bishop. Youngest pa si bishop? Uh, bishop pa Valdivo. Central Luzon. Ayun po. Southern Luzon. Mga pare po yung iba. Mga madre as obvious yung iba. <laughs> I joke them. I say Holy Virgins of the Lord. <laughs> and then Southern Luzon. And then Eastern Visayas. Eastern Visayas. Summer. Yeah. Uh, Western Visayas. Okay. Yes, yeah, Western Visayas. Central Visayas. Ayun. Mindanao. Katikis mo, Katikis. Ayun, Father Mindanao. Okay, so. This is NCR. I'm sorry, NCR. NCR. <laughs> okay, NCR. So this is a catechetical. These are heads and supervisors and coordinators of catechetical programs all over the country. And what they are supposed to learn here is supposed to be included in the, their input, in their output, in their programs when they, they go back to their uh, diocese as father. But this is not the first time they'll come here. I mean, this is not the last time they'll be here. They will be here for another session, uh, another series of sessions next year. So they have a commitment to come back. Like you, Father, I am very sure they'll ask you to come back also for a, for a sequel to your uh, to your lecture today. So presenting to you, Father Albert Aleno, our Catechetical Director from the different Diocese of the Philippines. And I am Nati Pala. Good morning po. Good morning. Ako si Father Albert Aleo. Yes, Jay. Are you with ka? Oh, more or less. Are you trying hard? Anyway, okay ko ba yung microphone? Apo. Just tingnan natin. Yun. Pero, nagre-recruit po ako na sumisipol. Sino sumisipol ito? Ayan, meron na kanina. Father? Father Robert. Father Robert. Father Robert. Saya 
Ano lang, identify seven sacraments. Baka na banggit mo hindi na pwede banggit mo. Baptism. Confirmation. Seven basic principles in Catholic Church of Peace. 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 What about labor? What about labor? What is the teaching? What's the principle? <laughs> okay. Solidarity. Solidarity. Subsidiarity, stewardship, common good, preferential option. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You might be So, anyway, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we have basic knowledge there. But, 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 can they enumerate the three principles of ano, Catholic social history? No. If, if you show me uh, your textbook in catechesis, will I see pages on social teaching? If I check, if we, if I check the, no, the if I check the adult catechesis guidelines on guidelines on Confession. Will I see? I did not pay my workers. <coughs> uh, if, if we check our religious textbooks, is corruption sufficiently treated there? No. No. <laughs> what about extrajudicial killings? Or can, can, can we enumerate, can our students enumerate the basic human rights? Barely. Or cultural rights of the indigenous peoples? And can they give us a good definition of peace? Those, those who come to our churches and graduates of our Catholic schools, would they be able to explain the, the rights of the workers? Do they know that there is a social teaching of the church? Are they aware that there is a compendium of the <coughs> Have they seen this? Yes. Yung mga library natin, meron ba dito? Sama. Gumagamit kaya. Nagagamit kaya. View. Okay. Ito, labor of lectures. Anyway, siguro, magandang pag-isipan nyo. Maybe it's good to, to do it. The past, nabanggit nyo of other name. Pero maroon, tagal na nun. Sa mga quizzes, sa mga quiz B, natatanong kaya ito. Sa mga debating topics, yung women's rights, yung child rights, Minsan, may lumabas mo na vibe galing sa isang Catholic school, masikat. Bumukas ang bintana, mostly ang kamay. 
na may hawak na styrofoam, kinabot sa kalsada. Alam kaya nila na mayroon daw dati sa'yo. Narinig ba natin yung stewardship as a term? <clears throat> Pag pinag-uusapan yung mining, what principles of the Catholic social teachings are involved? <clears throat> Pagka, pagka hindi gano'n, uh, kulang. <clears throat> kulang. So I hope na when we come back, we can, and we probably have to review our textbooks, our manuals, our guidelines for teaching. And let's check. We have so many problems in the world, especially in the country, especially today. But can we identify that yeah, it's a violation of the church teaching? All right. So, hello. <laughs> Good morning, Pa. So, yun siguro ang ating pag-usapan. And I'm really happy and humbled to be invited here. And, uh, so, sa akin mo, Shailing, my presupposition is we know uh, sufficiently, uh, we know some amount of uh, discourse on Catholic social teaching, but uh, please take this as a review and probably as, uh, as a refocusing. So principles, para hindi naman puro principles lang, I'd like to dwell on some methodology and then uh, siguro I can imagine a question, Father, but we don't have resources, we don't have CDs, we don't, where are the materials that we can use later on. So, okay, now we're going to have to use it. Alright? Then, yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, our objectives, sana po, may, sa isang araw na to, mapasadahan natin yung principles to understand the nature, first of all, to rediscover the existence of the Catholic social teachings, and then, just very quickly, the, its nature, its background, and the basic principles of the Catholic social teachings, and how they relate to each other. But not just concepts. I think we need to, uh, so, so, Sandra, about the approach to discernment, reading the signs of the times. Hindi lang yung signs of the times, pero reading the signs of the times. That's why we need a, a, a kind of a skill or methodology, some uh, technology to analyze social issues following the pastoral circle as a tool for reading the signs of the times. But it is not just knowledge, it's not just skill or competency, it's also spirituality. So we, we, we want to serve our people, especially those who are less, uh, those who are less in life. And so we want to capitalize on that desire. And strengthen, uh, strengthen our commitment to live the implications of following Christ. So we say, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ. What would be some implications of that in the concrete and uh, social life? And then um, pedagogy. It's not just, we are not just activists, but uh, we're teachers. So the point is, how do we teach that? So yun po yung ating ano, uh, objectives dito. Sana, uh, hindi natin matatapos lahat, pero at least, kung mapapakita natin yung resources. Okay. So, part one of introduction. Personal reflection ko po, suggest with priest, the case in social transformation. <coughs> so, nung pinamanan ko ako sa Mindanao, I was born in Kyogen de Oro. Because my father was from Bulacay, went to Lanao, and there he met Cinderella. <laughs> and I was the, the first fruit of the meeting of Severino and Cinderella. <laughs> the Tagalog, Tagalog father and Visayan uh, mother in Mindanao, and so the result is a luman. <laughs> 
And then uh, when I was nine months old, we moved to Bulacan. And then Marshall or 1972 was Marshall. I was second year high school. In 59 this August, I'll be, I'll be 59 this August. Uh, the point is, uh, when Marshall was declared, I was in second year high school. We may rally pa kami na. But, uh, so I, I saw violence even in our hometown and the presence of martial law. But then I also wanted to become a scientist. So in 1975, I enrolled in USD by chemistry. But then when I was reading books in the library, I saw Jesuit publications. So I said, I'm going to faith and justice. Faith that does justice. So I saw that there was a lot of class in the book. Uh, during that time, municipal councillor na po ako sa <laughs> nung college ako. I was already a municipal councillor while studying biochemistry. So, <clears throat> but I got attracted to a form of life. Na sabi, pero palang ganyan. They write books, they fight for justice, they work with the poor. But then, of course, I will realize the biggest fact was that Ateneo was the rival of Lasal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, nangyari ho, uh, una, ayaw ng tatay ko. Pero later, pumayag na rin, nung magpa-fortunize uh, college na ako. So, I joined the Jesuits. Went to Sabong Palay, or to Pinic Hospital, why? Nagtrabaho sa factory. But this was part of our training as, as a novice. We served as factory workers in uh, White Castle Whiskey. Uh, lived in the slums of Pantatan, Mogidnon, uh, uh, exposure to indigenous peoples. At the same time, we were trying to learn how to pray. Junior late, I uh, studied poetry, and the result would be a number of books. Ito po, uh, my first book of poems. The title is Sanayan Lang Ang Pagpatay. <laughs> <laughs> Killing is just a matter of practice. You get used to it, don't try. But uh, my second book of poems is a Tagalog translation of so mystical poems. St. John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, Jalaluddin Rudy, uh, Rabindranath Tagore, Galil Gibran, among, among others. Okay, this is Tagalog po. <laughs> so later I studied philosophy, and then uh, my apostolate was with trade unions. So I was an organizer of trade unions. And, uh, and then when I was in Regency, part of Jesuit training was uh, to spend two years uh, in Regency. I was assigned in Davao, 1985 to 87. Eight, no, 86 was people power. So I was in Davao, in bloody Davao, when, they were, when you were facing the tanks here, we were facing the the armor lights of the, the military, minus uh, without the benefit of foreign press. So, delicate. Uh, every day, killing. Um, so, I understand uh, the appreciation of the Dabo people for the third day. Because the, the Dabo then was really a bloody place. No? And so, I think the third day improved the situation, but with the big price. Uh, is there another way? Maybe. But uh, now it is being transferred nationally. That is problematic. Now, I studied theology during that time. I was in the Archdiocese of Manila Labor Center. And then I produced uh, a video for Magagawa. Then, Pastor of Year, uh, I was assigned in Bukit Non, the, the Monte Plantation, and we produced the Pinakatago Lihim ng Simbahan. Kung makikita niyo, binata pa ako doon. <laughs> Again, uh, matandang binata. <laughs> but then, my superior said, oh, you have to go for studies. And I said, oh, no, no, I don't like to go abroad for my studies, no, but uh, I was forced. Anyway, I did some uh, anthropology because I realized that the Marxist political economy was not really serving the country uh, in terms of
hours of an accurate analysis.